Hi, I'm Nick Jack and I'm from No Regrets Personal Training and I'd like to talk to you today about our latest video that we've got for sale, which is, we're so excited to release this because this is something we've been working on for a long time. Um, and this is a combination of many things that we've put together over a long, over many years that we've put in a step-by-step -step process to help people with a tricky condition known as piriformis syndrome. So there's a book that comes with this and I'm going to quickly just run through what, what you're going to get um, to give you a bit of a sneak peek at what's involved. All right, so um, why do we make this video? Well, we had a very successful YouTube video and many website articles that were helping people, but unfortunately we left out many parts of the training program because, you know, you can only put so much in a short YouTube video or in a, in a website article. Um, and we were constantly being asked many questions, asking for help and what do I do now? Should I do this? Should I do that? Which is the best one? So, um, you know, as I said, the short YouTube video just couldn't explain the entire process. Um, and, and I'd never actually included any of the assessments that we used um, or how to integrate a movement pattern into a, into a program. I just sort of gave you the bits and pieces to get out of pain, but not really um, complete the whole process. I just say do this, but didn't show you. Um, and with piriformis syndrome, it's a, actually one of the most difficult injuries to work with because, um, and a very careful approach is needed because there's a lot of things that help the injury are also the same ones that hurt the person. So um, as you can see, that it's, it's sort of hard to explain in a 10 minute video or, or thousand word article or such. Um, but the main reason we wanted to make this video is because we knew the program works and we wanted to help as many people as we could with this information that we were using very effectively um, with people coming to see us in Melbourne, Australia. So, um, and I'm getting a lot of people all over the world. So uh, what makes the video so good? Um, well, for starters, we're going to give you all the assessments, which I've never shown anyone before. Um, there's about 10 of them all together. Um, we're going to give you detailed explanation, corrective movement pattern technique, and you're going to get pictures, instructions, and video explanations of over 60 exercise stretches, mobilizations. All of these are filmed, so you can see them because it's a bit hard to do them justice with a two to two dimensional picture and some instructions. So, um, having said that, we will supply those as well. Um, even better than that, there's a step by step explanation on how to implement them, um, so you don't skip any parts of the order that we use very effectively. So I've given you about six programs that we would sort of break up over a period of six months. Um, so you can sort of gradually take a step forward through each one that should help you to get where you want to be. Plus 100% money back guarantee that we're so confident that if you do it, that you'll get out of pain and be out of pain forever. All right, so let's take a quick sneak peek as what you what you get. Um, this is Nick. So let's um, have a quick look at our piriformis syndrome uh, ebook special report. This is what you get when you buy the kit. So um, basically, I'm just going to have a bit of the start. It shows you a bit what's in it, and you know things, my qualifications, and how we some people have done well, resources where we got the information, a bit about piriformis. Um, the common causes, how to set up workstation, and explain the difference between tonic muscles and phasic muscle systems because it's important to understand a, a bit more detail about our success formula, um, why movement training is better than just muscle training, um, why how we use our method of isolating muscles before integrating, and explain that in a lot more detail. Um, a lot of good articles here, but basically you'll see. Then I, I show you our step step by step process, and then I run through each one. So I show you all the assessments, give you a little checklist so you can tick them off as you go, and compare. So you can see all these different assessments here. What you're going to need to do to know where to start. So these are the things that I've left out of the um, YouTube video and other website articles before. It's just too complicated. Just I just need too much time to explain it. All right, so in this you, you get to see it bit by bit and you can see all the pictures, exactly how to do it. Um, and these are all using real clients or ourselves to show you. Then we move into how to do the flexibility tests um, because in the video I just show you a handful. Now I'll show you all of them. 
Um, so run through that, more of the stability exercises, explaining stability, what it really means, how to do it right, for specific for piriformis syndrome. Um, importance of glute strength, posture, and then the integrated, and going on and on and on. And you can, I won't run through all that, just so you get a bit of an idea. Right at the back here is where I want to show you. Um, I even go over the running technique, and we teach you some of that, and how you should do it. But then I give you the actual exercise program. So from phase one to right up to phase six. So like I said in the beginning, it's like a six month program and you can get an idea of how to structure things, sets, reps, tempos, so on and so on. Um, nutrition hand information is is included. Um, yeah, and, and a summary right at the end, more testimonials of people who've done well before. All right, so that gives you a bit of an idea what's in the special report. So let's have a look at some of the videos. I'm gonna stick this under Nathan's butt. And he's just going to place it there himself. And he's just going to sit back and then he tries to find where that trigger point is. And it's just a little, a little, not a little bit more, it's a lot more concentrated than the roller, just because the surface area is meant to look like an elbow. All right, so a bit like out of manual. Uh, um, someone with poor flexibility, uh, we quite often see that. There's no way they could get up straight and basically all through here just so tight and restricting him he just can't actually get into a good posture and that's where that's where his issues are going to be found why he can't strengthen his glutes because his hips are just doing everything what he's going to do simultaneously is he's going to tilt his head back and extend his knee and basically what what happens is when he does that and he just keeps moving it it's like dental floss for your teeth but it's it's flossing for the nerve where it's where the piriformis is trapping it it's this is like running the the um, nerve up and down through where, where it might be getting trapped. Where you will see differences in the affected leg and the non-affected leg in the range of motion, like how far it can move. All right, because we're actually trying to squeeze the glutes together and seeing how well the hip functions when it moves in the ad abduction sort of phase. All right, so we'll see Nathan move his leg out. And when he moves it out like that, he's basically trying to use that the glute itself to strengthen him, just tapping the floor like a real soft tap. And basically he's trying to keep his stability on the standing leg and lining it up like we did on the single leg squat in the assessment stage. And he base, in what he needs to do is maintain that perfect alignment and perfect posture. Then he moves to the other leg to compare the, that becomes the issue. All right, so we're going to see Nathan do what we call a monster, monster walk or a crab walk, whatever you want to call it. So he's going to go step out into a squat. And again, we'll see that nice alignment. Now he's learning to move sideways. And he'll do three steps this way, and then he'll go back the other way. Now he's going to move out onto an angle. And you'll see the trailing leg has to turn in. This is where he's now learning to use the hip to do this, you see. This is where it's got to rotate. It's got to have freedom to move. Um, stepping out sideways. Now he gets a giant, <laughs> massive adductor stretch. So tight groins. Again, you'll see that as an issue with anyone with a hip dysfunction. Now he goes backwards. Now the, the opposite leg is now stretching and this one's the strengthening. All right, so he's learning to move in every direction, keeping his perfect posture so he doesn't lose his natural thoracic curve. So many things happening here, you see so many things, but this is sports movement at its greatest. Now you'll get to compare the left, left side to the right side. And he's got great range of motion, he's got great coordination. The hip's free to move, it's not restricted. And like I was saying, this one just it does so many things for you. As long as you lunging position, so we've just gone over the lunge, so now he's got the perfect technique and he's got his posture exactly where he needs to. Now he has resistance in his arm, he's got to coordinate the movement through his chest, shoulders, tricep, but also the, the rotation of his trunk. So he's, for the first time we're starting to see all this rotation stuff come in. All right, so this is where it's a very, very important part of this because that's how he gets all the coordination. Now, once he gets the hang of that, then he can move into the weight shifting stage. So this is where you're going to start to load up one leg to, to instigate the movement of pushing. All right, so the leg is the, com is the key in ingredient here in developing the strength. And remember from earlier on when we did the tongue and the roof of the mouth and the abdominal, a real good twisting feeling and he's, using, he's instigating the movement from his legs. All right, so where the, the activations for the twisting is coming from the abdominals, 
but it can't be in an absence of his legs. And the important part of this when he comes across again and holds it, this thoracic spine, remember how we've spoken about this several times now? This thoracic